Making sure soldiers and families feel at home on an installation and have access to all the services they need is the responsibility of the Installation Management Command. Jeannie Ryan sat down with Lieutenant General Robert Wilson to see how IMCOM plans to tackle a growing force and an army out of balance. General George Casey has said that the Army is out of balance and that it will take four years to regain that balance. What is installation management going to have to do over the course of the next four years to help accomplish that? Well, we have to do several things. One, we have to continue to improve our installation readiness, our soldier and family readiness. We, have to, we need to invest in the four imperatives that the Chief has laid out, and that is sustain, prepare, reset, and transform. You know, it's our, it's our mission to ensure that the soldiers have a platform that they can tra get the best training in the world from, that they have a power projection platform they can deploy from. At the same time, they need to be able to have reach back so the families can stay connected and provide for the families uh, for a, for a uh, quality of life, uh, provide for their children, their education, their child development. And it's our responsibility to look after them as well as when the soldiers redeploy. We must reset, not only reset the soldiers, reset their equipment, but reset the families so they can refresh themselves and be prepared to support this all-volunteer force. It's so important to us. And then transform. And what we mean by transform, we want to constantly look at ways where we can be better, where we can provide a better standard, a better quality, and meet the capacity and the demands of our, of our Army. What is the relationship between installation management and the individual soldier. I mean, what happens between the two to make the Army what it is? Well, we look at Installation Management Command and the garrison as the Army's home, the big Army. That is the soldier, the family, the children. That's a home where they can thrive, where they should feel comfortable, they should feel safe, and where they can, they can grow. So I, I want soldiers and families to have an installation where they feel that safety, where they feel that the Army is looking after them, where the community is in support, where they can go to Army community services, or they can go to the chaplain, or they can get assistance where they need to be able to deal with routine stresses as well as some of the stresses of persistent conflict. 